What it is, what it do, Zeta will see Cruise, your boys daddy Chunk Chunk, and we are back again with another banger for you guys today. What kind of banger this is some muck. Bang! Today, ZCC family, I had a good one in the books. <laughs> and let me explain myself. So I've never ever ever tried Firehouse subs, and I'm 99% sure I haven't. Um, but I'm pretty sure I haven't. Not on video or even my personal life just eating. I haven't tried Firehouse subs. Except for today, and let me explain. I did a video, 18 minutes in, I realized I didn't have my audio on. So here I am redoing the video for a second time. What I did rebuy was just the sandwich. I actually didn't eat the salad and I didn't eat the chips. I have the I have some soda leftovers, like half a soda, and some chicken chicken dumpling left over. So I'm gonna give you guys a review again of how I think this sandwich is. I did get this sandwich one ingredient different than I did the first time, actually though. And uh, yeah, this still uh, like everything else I said is the same stuff for this sandwich. But uh, let's get a prayer and a thumbnail. Father God, I want to thank you for this food that I'm about to receive on my body, and I ask that you do please bless this food in Jesus' name. We pray, Amen. Let's get a thumbnail. All right, let's eat. <sighs> to be honest, you guys, I think I'm gonna <laughs> start skipping the let's get a thumbnail part because I'd never be using the thumbnails for the thumbnail part. Is there a spoon over here? I'm gonna go ahead and use this. So, reviewing the chicken dumpling. I tasted it earlier today. To be honest, it was really good. Let's see how it is, reheat it up. Still amazing. Not as uh, chunky as it was though earlier, but the chicken dumpling is fire. And, and I was saying this earlier, I don't know if it's because of, I haven't had chicken dumpling in just a while or, or if it's really just their chicken dumpling, but it really is fire. Now, earlier today when I had the sandwich, I wasn't feeling, the sandwich wasn't nasty, it just wasn't, This wasn't it to me at all. So let's go ahead and try this sandwich again. Like I said, and I thought what it was was the fact that I had honey ham on it. So now I don't have no honey ham. Let's give this a go. Mm. Mm -hmm. This was not as messy as the first one was. That's pretty good. Um, it tastes a little bit better, but I don't think Firehouse is messing with Subway to be 100 y'all. I don't think so. I don't know what it is. I wonder if this is a wheat bread. No, I don't know. I don't know what it is, but I just don't think it's messing with Subway. But ZCC family, I'm so I was so frustrated when this happened because, like I said, I do got a new mic where I have to hit the play button. I mean, I have to turn on the mic on mainly. My old mic um, was just automatic. When you turn the camera on, the mic was on. Well, now this video maybe a quicker video because of that. But I did want to touch on something though in this video. Cause as you guys know, I announced I'm moving to Las Vegas. Can't clap for that. Also, as you guys know, I got one of the houses that I want. Can't clap for that. Now, I know some people are curious about what's going on with NLC. Um, some people are asking questions about it and I want you to know, I just want to say, yeah, she's going out there, but she's getting her own space. Um, yeah, she's getting her own spot. She's doing her own thing. I was just telling her, like, I, I was like, Hey, you know, I've been wanting to go on, been wanting to go to Vegas. If you guys been watching Rock and Channel, you guys know I've been wanting to go and I was letting her know, like, yeah, I'm gonna go. And to be honest, you should go too, because I know she don't got... A lot of things going on in Houston. She she also loves Vegas herself. And I recommended it to her. I, I threw out the option, you know. 
she gave it some thought and said, yeah, that's actually a good idea too. And that's why she's going. And to be honest, it's not just her I'm trying to get to go. I really want all of my friends to go. Because um, it would be just dope to have to have everybody that um, I rocked with out here out in Vegas. As you guys all know, if you've been part of the ZCC family for a while, I moved here back in uh, 2018. And when I moved here, I moved here with a whole bunch of roommates, a whole bunch of people I never knew either. My homie Vaughn, my guy Nair, Matty Ice, Dustin Marlowe, and two Jalen's and M. And um, came down here with a plan. Crazy thing is to think about, it. I was actually just talking to my barber. Came down here with a, um, a Ford Fusion. I did. My guy now here had a Volkswagen Jetta. And we came down here with the sole purpose of just grinding it out and trying to make it on to back in 2018. So, sum up the story, was there, stayed there for like a few months, then went to Ohio for a year and a half, and then I came back to Houston in um, 2020. And been in 20, been, I said been in 2020, been here for three years. And definitely rock with Houston, definitely love Houston. Nothing but good things to say about it. But I'm just ready for the next chapter, and to be honest, I even trying to convince that year to come full up because <laughs> uh, I know that year been ready to try something new too. And funny story, me and that year went to Vegas together as well one time, and um, when we went, this was to sign my lease for my last place, and he was looking at spots too, and he did a video out there, a gold digger prank with a orange Corvette. A later, a few months later, I ended up buying an orange Corvette, but which is kind of funny, but. That video did really well for him. He loved the vibes. Like when we was out there in Ve when we was in Vegas, he said he had a ball. He had a time of his life. So I'm trying to tell him, like, bro, you need to come down to LV, no cap. And he's like, I don't know, man. He's like, to be honest, he's like, I'll go. But he, he, I feel like he will go. I just have to go first. You know what I mean? And I was even telling my homie Vaughn, like, you should go too. And when I brought it up to my homie Vaughn. After that, he was like, oh yeah, I used to stay there. But I used to stay there for a few months. And I think it was definitely after the Cloud House, but I don't know if it was in 2019, 2020, but he even said he liked it, which is a shocker because Vaughn's really um, anti, I don't wanna say anti-social. He's just, he's not a social person. He's very to himself. He's a, uh, a no no new friends kind of guy. Y'all know I like to have my setup nice. He's a no new friends kind of guy, you know? And he just, uh, he sticks to the people he knows. And the fact that he said he had fun out there and loved out there shows that I know Vegas gotta be, gotta be lit some way, somehow. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm not telling him, bro. Yeah, I'm going to, to, to LV, man, I think. You should go ahead. You should come too. I'm like, no cap. I will go back out there. Um, he said he really enjoyed his time and things of that sort. He even got to go to UFC uh, press conference, which is truly dope because I'm a huge fan. If you guys don't know, I'm a huge fan of combat sports. Huge fan. And um, and that's UFC, boxing, all types of stuff. I'd say more of a fan of uh, MMA. Love boxing, but I just know the big names in box boxing. Um, if you know anything about Vegas, you know Vegas is the fighting capital of the world. And also, um, the UFC headquarters is in LV. And who's telling me how you went to a press conference? Bro, do you know how, how, how ecstatic I'll be to be able to go to a press conference or weigh in? I don't know if those open to the general public. Well, it has to be because he said he went to one. But where do people get the information to to go to one? Because I follow the UFC on um, Instagram. 
and things of that sort. And I never see them advertising like, oh, weigh ins this day, open to the public, y'all come on, that it's like that. Unless it's always just a private event or you gotta be specially invited, but I always want to go to a, a, a weigh in, um, what is it called? A weigh in or a press conference, the ones that are uh, showed on, showed via video, you know? I always wanted to go to one. And hopefully Vegas will be my chance to do so because it is a fighting capital of the world. But yeah, so I was even telling Vaughn come out there. Vaughn, he said he would go. He would just have to talk to the lady, you know, and um, and see what's up with that. But now, yeah, I feel like I could convince to go. I just got to be there first. And then he has to come visit me. I got to show how much of a ball it is. And then I feel like he will go too. But yeah, I just want all my people out there because I feel like it'll be really dope and stuff of that sort. I know, shout out to Chilling With Walt and Kicking It With Sin City. They just bought a house. Congrats to them. Proud of you guys. I'm happy for you guys. But I know Walter had thoughts about going moving to Vegas. So I'm like, oh, I know once Walter comes visit me because I'm planning on hosting 4th of July's and stuff of that sort. Because I used to host the 4th of July's in my last house in, uh, in, uh, here in Houston. And I used to host it. And then um, all the family come out. So I'm hoping to do that again. Host the 4th of July in my spot in LB. And I wanted Walt's gonna move out there, but they just bought a house, so buying a house in a suite to just up and up and get up out of here. But I'm happy they bought bought a house, so shout out to them. I can't wait to see it. Definitely gonna go back to Memphis to go go see it. Cause I ain't gonna lie, Memphis has some good food. Just rare for me to say that, but Memphis has some really good food when I was up there. So. Can't wait to come see the house. Shout out to y'all. But yeah, man, I'm really excited for this journey. I'm really excited now. I, think, I didn't even really was even thinking about the, the fighting capital of the world. Now I gotta figure out a way to go see these press conferences. <laughs> I really do. Cause those things be lit. And then, um, I want to tell Snoop, but I mean, I want, I, I've been to Snoop, he should come to Vegas, but I feel like Snoop really don't care for Vegas that much. He's like, huh, whatever. And I know Vegas is going to have a lot of vices for Snoop. <laughs> so it's all about, will, will he be okay with all them vices? <laughs> mm. Vegas has vices for everybody, though. You know, it's not. I'm saying it's big for Snoop because there's two things that Snoop loved to do that's out there. <laughs> but has has a lot of vices in general, and um, just comes with it. But good thing um, I don't feel I have a. Well, I just not. I don't feel. I know I don't have an addictive personality. I have a when I focus on something, I focus like I can have an addictive personality with like focusing on something, but not an addictive personality to get hooked on something. But I ain't gonna lie. I've been watching these slot channels, and they making it seem like anything is possible. I ain't gonna get it. Hey, go get! I've been watching these slide chat. I'm like, hold up! They're making it seem like it's a profit doing this. Like you could really make it doing these slots, but you know, obviously, you know, doing it to show the good parts. I mean, I'm sure they show like them losing and stuff, but you see them wins they be hitting. Um, and you know what's crazy? Slot channels are a thing. You know, there's this uh, one woman I watch is Lady HQ, and she be hitting. And I just saw her hit a sixty-two thousand dollar jack grand jackpot. I'm like, oh, she's having a ball. See, sixty-two bands will make up all the little couple thousand dollar losses you took. But 
But calm down, calm down, ZCC family. I'm not going to do it. Not going to do it. I'm not that kind of guy anyways. I'm a, if I lose 100, 200, I'm out of you. 5,000, you know what I mean? And plus, my only game I really like to play is roulette. That's my always bet on black. That's the kind of guy I am. But um, slots, I don't know. I just They're too computerized for me. Slots are way too computerized for me. And I just don't, tr I don't trust the computer <laughs> at all. But yeah, I'll be tough to get some more YouTubers out there in Vegas. And I'm trying to think. What YouTubers are out there? Like, I have my niche, you know, I do mukbangs, but I know there's YouTubers out there. Like I said, there's like a the big five for Vegas vloggers I watch. But I'm talking about YouTubers that like do like pranks or couple channels or things of that sort. Oh, did I draw something? Are there any big, I know um, CJ So Cool is out there. Shout out to bro. And when I'm saying big YouTubers, I'm talking about people way bigger than me. I'm talking about million plus followers who stay smacking hundred thousands um, every time they upload. No, um, I really don't know no big YouTubers. And like, I, I could live in a, in a, in a small show because I really don't watch a lot of people. I'm a tech and I watch certain niches, so I may, I don't even watch like family vlogs or prank channels or what else is it called? A couple channels, I don't watch none of those. And so I, I may just be just totally out the loop and I could be tripping, it's gonna be a whole bunch. But the only one I know is CJ So Cool, that's like a mega YouTuber out there. But um, yeah, it will be nice to make Vegas, the YouTube capital. You know, Vegas always breaking records. You know what I mean? Vegas is so many capitals. Vegas is the fighting capital of the world. Vegas is the entertainment capital of the world. Dubai. Even though Dubai, they snap it over there. <laughs> they snap it over there. But um, Vegas is the wedding capital of the world. And I'm sure there's so many other, so many other things that Vegas is, but Vegas would be dope. It's like Vegas, the YouTube capital of the world. And so many people are relocating, relocating out there because the prices in California is going nuts. And a lot of people are leaving LA to go to Vegas because they still want to be close to, to what they know and to home and to families and stuff, but um, have half the prices. And I know they're trying to make Vegas the next Hollywood. So I'm telling people right now, I feel like I'm a little bit late, but get in now. Because Vegas, Vegas is about to become popping in, in the next few years. It's already popping, but Vegas is about to pop off. I feel real crazy. And I know y'all probably sick of hearing me talk about Vegas. I love that city, man. I ain't gonna lie. I love that city. I truly do. And I can't wait to show y'all how much I love it with these vlogs. But I ain't gonna lie, I'm full. The reason I'm full is because I ate two sandwiches. This, this is my, this is my second time doing it. Second time, man. Oh. I don't know how many times I can do this, do this again. I'm gonna have to go get me a mic. And uh, God, uh, it turns on when I turn this camera on. Cause this right here is hectic, it truly is. But I hope you guys enjoyed that video, man. Yeah, like I said, man, I'm trying to, I really, uh, well, I just wanted to say, Well, first off, this was me trying out fire uh, subs for the first time, which really is first and a half because my first time trying it was about a couple hours ago, probably like three hours, four hours ago. And this is my second time trying it, but first time trying it to review you guys. Overall, I don't think it's rocking with Subway or Jimmy John's. Uh, and I don't know. At first, I thought it was a honey ham, but I took that off the second go round. Now it could be the wheat. Chowder soup is good. Salad's gonna be a salad. 
I wouldn't go to Firehouse. Like, I wouldn't go out my way to go to Firehouse at all. Definitely, would eat, but it's definitely eatable. It's not nasty. Subway and Jimmy though for the win. And then, uh, yeah, but no, she's uh, she's got her own spot. She's well, she's getting her own spot. So yeah, I just wanted to mention those things. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok. All is at a Chuck Chuck. That is Z A D D Y C H U and K C H U and K. But Z C C family. As we all know, the grind never stops until the ZCC gang is on top. Let's get it!